What's up guys? Welcome back to another Signature Sports Media video. I'm excited today. We have two online exclusive top sets today. Let's go! So we're going to be ripping into these two different sets today. Um, we have one box of the Tops X Derek Jeter. Super excited to get into that being a Yankee fan. Um, Derek Jeter, Yankee legend. And there is a ton of Yankee legends in this box. And then we also have this Tops On Demand. Um, these are the minis, which are from Series 1 and 2. Uh, I'm not sure if Update was included in that, but we'll find out what's in there. I actually have three boxes of that. So we'll be getting into all three of those today. Or at least two of them. I don't know if I'm going to do the third one yet. But we're going to start off with the Derek Jeter set. Very excited to get this open. Um, there's a 1 in 12 shot of hitting an auto that says on the back. There are also parallels, but you are not guaranteed every, everything. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Very excited for this. And there are other legends in it as well besides Yankees. Obviously, it's mostly Yankees, but there's also like David Ortiz, uh, Clemente, Brooks Robinson, Johnny Bench, guys like that. So there's only 10 cards in this box. It is a 52-card set, so you're not going to see all the cards today. But nonetheless, hopefully we get at least one parallel. It is super difficult to hit a parallel or an auto, so I'm not really expecting it. But let's just see what happens here. All right, and first card, Bernie Williams. And the design's okay. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the design. It's kind of like an older feeling design, but it's glossy, the card. So it's like a newer feel, but older style card, which is expected because Jeter played in the olden days. Bernie Williams, Hideki Matsui. Roberto Clemente. So, see, it's not all Yankees, like I said, but Bernie, Matsui, Williams, now Posada. Very nice. Derek Jeter. Kind of hoping I hit one of the Marianos, too. That'd be nice. Ton of legend autos in here as well. So, if you hit an auto, you're not hitting a bad one. Bob Gibson, RIP. Derek Jeter and. Derek Jeter. Interesting picture of Jeter here from the flip play. Very cool. And this is when he hit the walk-off home run in 2001. So very cool stuff. And as you can see, there's a bunch of subsets. So all the subsets are up there as well. So this is from Championship Performances, Championship Reflections, Great Teammates from the Pettit one. Didn't hit a Rivera, but that's okay. That's what my Jeter set was. Didn't hit any parallels. So no numbered cards, didn't hit an auto or anything, but still a very cool set to open. Um, I don't know why I didn't get more boxes of this. And now that I've seen it, it's so hard to judge things based on um, just like what Tops posts on their website because you never really know what's going to be in it until you start seeing it open. And I wish I got a couple more of those because they're only, I want to say those were only like 20 bucks a piece maybe. They weren't expensive. It was either like 20 or 25. I think it was 20. But anyway, we're going to get into our first um, on-demand mini here. And I forget how many are in this pack. So we're just going to open it and see. I believe there is a, yeah, there's a good amount of cards in here. So if you're unfamiliar, like I said before, this is from Series 1 and Series 2. And they are just miniature versions of the cards. So hopefully we can hit some of those good rookies in here, but we'll see. Danny Jansen. JT Riddle, Eduardo Nunez. Our first rookie is Emmanuel Classe from Series 2. Dario Agrazo, Albies, Cano, Manny Pena, Peraza, Billy McKinney, Anibal Sanchez, Austin Hedges, Greg Garcia. So just an example of what I was talking about here. See, this is actually from Update, so they did include Update as well. So 1, 2, and Update definitely tells you, like the normal ones, what series it's from so you don't have to go look it up or guess it if you can't remember uh, but Jesus Algalar, Roberto Clemente 35th anniversary strawberry and we got a nice out of 25 Bryce Harper very nice so this is 13 of 25 
Bryce Harper 1985 insert. That is super cool. So that's the pink border. Um, so let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to put it over some of these cards. We'll put him over Bob Gibson for now. Our next parallel is out of 10. It's Luis Castillo. 6 out of 10. Electric picture pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds from Series 1. Um, this looks like it's a blue insert. Numbered 6 to 10. Wish the Yankees would get him. He's an awesome pitcher. I know my brother will agree with me on that. Uh, we'll put him over one of the Jeters because we did get a couple of Jeters in this. We got three. And then we got roll reversal. Short stops. Torres, Lindor go head to head. Maybe two future teammates there. This is number two out of five. It's a red. So as you can see, you know, I'm not sure if it's like that in every box. I'm going to be honest. I have not seen this ripped yet. Um, I just got my boxes today. I know I've seen some videos with the headlines yet, but I knew I was getting them. So I really just wanted to see and get my own take on it. I like the mini cards. I'm a big fan of mini cards. I like how mini cards look in slabs too. I don't know if that's just me, but I know they're not as valuable as obviously the full size cards, but definitely still cool cards to have in your collection, especially if it's an SSP. So we'll see. I guess we'll find out in this box if there's three in each one. But you definitely get a good amount of cards. And like I said, this 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 set was definitely only $25 per box, too. So, again, a cheaper rip in 2020. Technically, this came out in 2020, even though it's 2021 now. So, I don't think you could go wrong with picking these up. Mike King, I believe that's from Update for the Yankees. There you go. See, we got a mini of Randy Rosarena. This is probably from, let's see, Series 1, because he still has his... Cardinals Union, but that's a very nice hit right there. We'll go ahead and put it right there in that pile. Clevenger, now with the Padres, O'Grady. Uh, let's see, can we pull one of the top rookies besides a Rosarena in their actual Union? That'd be pretty cool. Like a Boba Shet. Got to sometimes manifest your hits into, uh, into reality. So this is Bichette from Series 1. Very nice. Card number 78 in the set. Just a base card, but still a beautiful card. Like I said, these don't, I don't believe, I mean, there's no comps on them yet, really, because it just came out. But I believe these aren't going for as much. Rogelio Armenteros out of 25. So we'll put that in the pink pile. Yep, Shorber out of 10. And Santana out of 25. So that time we got two pinks and a blue. We're just going to put that on the same pile. Um, we'll go ahead and get into the last one. Not a long video. Um, I think we're only at like eight minutes right now. So yeah, we'll get the last one open. Keep it about a 10 to 12 minute video here. But yeah, so it seems like you get three parallels per box. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, I, don't, I can't really think of any other like small set like this where you're guaranteed three parallels. Um, so that's pretty solid, actually. So I'm not going to complain about that at all for 25 bucks. I like these a lot, though. I'm a fan of the minis. But they're not like... This is Bichette from Update. So it's his rookie debut. We'll put that in the Bichette pile. Um, these aren't like the minis from Allen and Ginther, either. They're like bigger than that, I would say. Grisham from Update, I believe. Yep. Put that in the new pile. So like yeah, the Allen Ginter minis are definitely thinner and smaller than this. This is like a like half of the card almost, I would say. But you know, if you open them yourself, you can definitely see how big they are. All right, so Peter Lambert out of twenty five, AJ Pollock out of ten, and Brendan Rogers, Future Stars out of twenty five. All right, so our SSPs, um, nothing really to write home about. Probably the. Bryce Harper is the best one. Maybe the one that was out of five with Lindor and Glaber Torres on it. But, you know, that's also an insert. It wasn't really a base card. So I don't know for value-wise. But we did get a, a Randy Rosarena base and the Boba Shep base. I'm not going to complain. I had a lot of fun opening this. Definitely a product I like. I'm not sure what the resale values are, are on it just because I did just get it today. So I can't imagine there being too many out on the market. But definitely don't overspend for it because you know with the 700 checklist between series one series two 
and then another 300 or so in update, however many there was, that's a thousand cards on the checklist. So to hit something good and like crazy would be very dif difficult to do. So definitely don't expect anything crazy out of it because the checklist is so big. However, if you are a collector and you like mini cards, it is a very fun set to open and have the mini versions of some of these cards that we've been trying to chase all year. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, the Yankee set, super awesome for Yankees fans or b even baseball fans in general. I mean, you know, the Yankees are always one of the most relevant teams in baseball, and there's all a lot of Hall of Famers in that set. Difficult to pull an auto, but still very cool. Let me know your guys' thoughts on both sets. Um, I got both of them in today, so I figured I'd just put both of them on the channel at the same time um, because I do have other stuff planned, so that's why I did both of them together. So let me know what you guys think of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Always bringing new releases like this. I also do rip uh, football and basketball along with Pokemon on the weekends as well. So if you're into that, you know, definitely consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out. We're definitely getting into that sports giveaway soon where we're going to give away three rookie cards. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and I also do... PSA reveals on the channel as well. So if you're into that type of content, definitely go ahead and give the sub, like and sub, uh, like and comment. I'd appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching this one and hanging out with me this time. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.